Right now at 5, 2020 will forever be remembered as the year of the coronavirus pandemic. And as cases continue to spike across the state, it will also change the way South Floridians celebrate New Year's Eve. Today we learned that in order to keep South Floridians safe and healthy going into 2021, some traditions had to be canceled. With a look at what you can and cannot do for New Year's Eve, here's CBS 4's Jeff Scouton from Fort Lauderdale. Well, you know, so many of us are looking forward to kicking 2020 out the door and welcoming in 2021. But this year, the way we do that is going to be very different. One! <laughs> For the last 35 years, we've watched the Big Orange rise in downtown Miami to welcome in the new year. Not this time around. Everything has been canceled. Uh, we don't want to be a, have a big spreader. What we want to do is we don't want to bring all the people together into uh, uh, downtown Miami like before. We're not going to see the big anchor drop in Fort Lauderdale either, at least not live and in person. It will be pre-recorded with no audience. For an hour before midnight, uh, Fort Lauderdale will have live bands, of course, virtual live bands, in which we'll, we'll party hardy for that last hour of 2020. And then at the stroke of midnight, we'll, we'll drop anchor and begin a new era, hopefully a more optimistic era of 2021. Fort Lauderdale will have a fireworks display downtown, but with no viewing area. For a lot of people, New Year's Eve will be very different. Sometimes we'd have another couple over or two to play games and drink champagne, but this year it's just gonna be the two of us. Do you plan on having friends over for New Year's Eve? No, <laughs> no. I mean, we're being very careful. Uh, virtual. I'll just do a virtual thing, maybe with my brother in New York. The hope is to stop large gatherings and the spread of COVID. Don't be kissing any strangers at midnight on New Year's Eve. You know, try to stay home with your family. Don't invite any family members over that are not part of your regular household. Um, and just, just make it a quiet New Year's Eve this time of year. While many people will still crowd together like years past, whether it's in public spaces, bars, restaurants, or homes, Miami-Dade's chief medical officer reminds people coronavirus cases are still on the rise. We see the positivity rates across the county now in the past three days have increased significantly. A positivity rate on, on December 27th was 10.8% for the county much higher than it's been the prior two weeks. And keep in mind, there's a 1 a.m. curfew in place in both counties. One o'clock, that's definitely shut down time. Um, we're, we, you know, people are, are leaving, going home, that's okay, but no congregation uh, after 1 a.m. And this is, of course, designed to keep us safe and stop the spread. Well, the vaccine does bring us hope. Health experts remind us that we are not out of the woods yet. We still have to get past the holidays and the surge on the surge. Bottom line, don't let your guard down. In Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scouton, CBS4 News.